Welcome to the Canva Classroom, everybody. I'm so glad that you are learning with me. And privately, someone asked me how I created this look. They wanted to know how to create the sticker look in Canva and where did I get this element? Well, the truth of the matter is I combined two different elements. Element number one is called question mark on box. It is a Canva Pro element and for all of you Eagle Eye Canva holics out there, you will notice that they have changed their likes folder to a star folder. The second one is called question symbol design. It is also a Canva Pro element. In the last video, we talked about crop and cover. We're going to crop this to just a box. Click, double click it, and crop it. And now I've got a box. There is a little bit there that I need to bring down just a smidge. There we go. Now I've got my box. I'm actually going to crop in a little bit here as well. Let's see. There we go. The reason why I like to do that is because I like for my elements to be as small as possible in terms of the extra lines here. So here we go. And here's this one. I'm going to shrink it and I'm going to give it the effect that it's just popping right at the box and rotate it. And it is a free. That's a fun element. I'm going to star that. Back to this. I get distracted in Canva. Who else gets distracted in Canva? Raise your hand. The, I'm going to make the magic happen now. I'm going to download this with a transparent background. I got to find it here on my page. I think it's page eight. It is. I'm going to upload it. Left click the round points and make it larger. And then I am going to create a shadow effect. The sticker look. Edit image. You will type in the word shadow. For this particular one, I am going to use the glow effect. Click on C control and the first thing I do is change the color to white and then I sort of go backwards. I change my color and then I change my blur to nothing and then the transparency to a hundred and then I start figuring out what size I want it. Sometimes I want it really big like this. And sometimes I want it smaller so that you can see holes in the background. It should depend on the look that you're going for. But what if you like this look around the box, but you like the, a larger filled in look behind the box? Well, that is a really simple fix. We're going to do 15. Apply. All you need to do is get a circle. A C on the keyboard should get you a circle. I'm going to make it white. Right click, send it backwards. And now it's covered. It gives the illusion that it is all white. And that's how I created that look. Well, that's all I have for you today, except this awesome blooper. Welcome to the Canva question, to the Canva questions. If you like today's Canva tutorial and want to see more like it, be sure to press the thumbs up button because likes are absolutely free. I recommend you watch one of these videos next. I hope to see you on Wednesday when we tackle something new. See you next time. Bye.